today's video, I'm bringing you the new X model, the F50 Elite. Now, if you didn't know, the F50 is making a comeback. It is now going to be the new speed silo for Adidas. And I can tell you right now that my first in-hand look at these boots, they are not like the older F50s. Yes, they're a speed boot. Yes, they're lightweight. And yes, they share the name, but they have a lot more resemblance to the newer X models like the Speed Portal, the Speed Flow, and maybe some characteristics of the Crazy Fast, but not a ton. There's also a ton of new features and tech on this boot that I'm going to get into in the rest of this video, but this might as well be its own boot. Now, I know it will share the name F50, but I can guarantee you it's going to be a completely different, new, and unique experience. Now, I can't tell you a whole lot about this boot because I just don't know, and I know that's what I'm supposed to do, but this boot is not supposed to release until April from what I've heard, maybe later. Maybe early April, I just, I have no clue when it's coming out. I was able to get these from a friend of mine who will remain anonymous because of his choice. Otherwise I would have shouted him out. And I just don't know exactly what the techs are actually supposed to do, what the purpose of them is. I just don't have access to that knowledge. Adidas hasn't released anything and I don't know when they will probably. I'm assuming when the boots drop and maybe some other retails will drop some information, but I was able to find nothing. The only thing I've actually seen is a few prototypes on feet of players. I think I posted one on our Instagram and the photo I actually put that was blown up is a pair of replicas. It's not actually a real pair, but I thought it would do good for content and it did. And then my friend, uh, Boot Wizard, he, his real name is James, he actually got a pair of these in prototypes. So they're white out. They have a few different designs and decals and features on them because they're prototypes. So check out his YouTube channel. Check out that video. He actually posted it yesterday and he beat me to it by day. I got these the same day he did, but he cranked out a video and shout out to him. So check out that video after you watch this one. Another thing I do know is there will be a laceless version of these boots. I'm going to try and see if I can get a pair to do a review before they drop as well but I don't know if there's gonna be a plus model or like how the Crazy Fast is set up where it's the laced point one, the laceless point one, and then a plus model that's $300. I also don't know how much these cost because again, I bought them from somebody and they did not come with the box either. So I just got the boots. Again, sorry, I know a lot of you get on me when I don't know information, but this is just something that comes out so early. I'm not affiliated with Adidas. Adidas actually does not like me because I've done stuff like this in the past and because of what I do with haltsboots.com and just a whole bunch of stuff. So giving you what I can. I did forget to mention this is a sample pair. So what that means is it's just made to show all the other retailers or Adidas employees or any of the designers I wanna say the final product. I could be wrong there because I don't know a whole lot exactly what samples are supposed to stand for. That's what I think they stand for. But it does have a random little tag here and you'll get a close up of it. But it says the model is F50 Elite FG. So I don't even actually know if X is gonna be in front of the name of this boot. There's obviously the F50 logo on this boot. But other than that, there's no X design. So I wonder if they're just getting rid of the X design altogether or rather the X name altogether. And now we're going to get into the tech specs and details of this brand new unreleased pair of F50s. So I did get these in a size nine. I'll be able to wear them and test them out over the next week and get an actual on foot video next week. But this is gonna be more of like a tech spec first look unboxing without a box kind of deal. It's just, I wanted to get this out as quick as possible. I posted it on my socials and everybody's been going crazy asking for a review. So giving this first close look and then next week, hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday, I'll have worn this boot five, six times and can kind of give my feedback. So starting off with the upper, it feels a lot more plasticky. There is some ribbed texturing here and there's kind of a, a, a bit to this upper. It has a sprint web and I don't know if that's the internals of the boots. Sometimes they call them like, I think they were called like the speed frame and the crazy fasts or something like that. This could also be the texture on the outside. And then it also has another print here or tech spec called fiber touch. So I don't know if it's a mixture of sprint web and fiber touch for the upper. It kind of feels like where the three stripes are and the F50 logo is, it's a bit softer, but I just, I know I can't give you the answers you guys want because I don't even have the answers and I want to know this, but I'm kind of going off of what I feel here. It could either be a dual split thing or that sprint, sprint web is the internal cage. Is what I'm kind of thinking is that sprint web is the internal cage. The upper also does kind of feel like that Tasian um, material, I think it's called. It was on the Vapor 11. It was on the tongue of some of the older, like 2014 F50s, and I actually have a pair. Here is the OG F50. I know my light's not really on it, but whatever this material of this tongue is made of, and with my remake, soccer.com F50 Ghosted, had that nice soft material. That's what it actually feels like um, some of this upper is made out of, just with all the extra texturing and ribs, they aren't rubber, and so they're kind of hard and give the boot an overall more plasticky, synthetic feeling. So I don't know 
how that's gonna do on feet and I'm not looking forward to that because typically I don't like that style. Another thing the fiber touch could be is the soft material up here in the tongue. It is made of a more like fabric-y feeling <laughs> type material. I don't really know what to call this and I'm sure we'll find out in the next month or two when these boots actually drop, but that's kind of my best guess. So overall, the upper feels a bit more plasticky, a little bit harder. Some areas feel soft. I really hope it's good for wide feet because otherwise I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble if it's not. If we move on to the tongue, what's interesting is it's not really a floating tongue, meaning it's only stitched in down at the bottom of the boot. It's more. So we saw the floating tongue come back after almost four or five years in the Adidas X Crazy Fast Plus, but now it seems like it's already gone. Basically how the tongue is set up is you have the tongue section here that is stitched in, but then it has two elastic bands, or it's actually one singular elastic band that goes all the way around the inside of the boot. So it's stitched down at the bottom underneath on the kind of almost where the sole plate is and comes up and over, but it doesn't actually attach to the side of the boot. It's its own like free floating thing. It's actually called the compression fit. Compression fit, well, I don't know, it just says compression fit, so I'm assuming that's the tech and that's what kind of wraps it, but it reminds me of the Pure Control 17 or 16 Plus, I want to say, whichever it is, was the worst boot I ever wore in my entire life. I so, not looking forward to this kind of tongue setup, and hopefully the, the, the kind of B-roll I, I put over this gives you some justice so you can kind of see what I'm looking at here and what I'm dealing with, but it also almost reminds me of kind of the material in the Adidas Glitch. The tongue is a softer material, and like I said, maybe it's that fiber touch that's on the bottom of the boot here or on the side of the boot. We'll find out eventually. Um, I just don't, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I never really liked bands on my feet. I wore a burrito style tongue of the messy 16.1s before. Didn't really enjoy that either, and I wanna say I wore them on another pair of boots, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And I know these are in a burrito style, it's very similar, and when I first looked at them, I was like, oh sick, we got the burrito tongue back, maybe because it's a messy. No, it's not the burrito tongue, so we're kinda screwed in that aspect, but maybe we'll get one again one day, but I just, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this band overall, and after I wear them for a little bit, hopefully it doesn't feel like anything crazy. It has the consistency of those kind of like copper compression socks or sleeves or, um, that you see people wear sometimes or runners even wear so we'll see how it does the heel area is actually nice because it seems like the padding runs from the, the first eyelet here all the way around this side and all the way to the other side of where the first eyelet is or at least the highest up eyelets are and it's not very thick which I like because I feel like when a padding gets thick it's too much there doesn't seem to be any access um, kind of folding or bending like sometimes these heel areas get. The heel cup feels solid, which is huge for me because I have kind of heel problems and probably a stress fracture down there as, as well as, you know, just Achilles issues. I'm not gonna take out the insole, but I'll put the footage over this. It is nothing special. It reminds me pretty much of the insoles we've been getting for the last four generations, five generations of Speed Boot, the Ghosted, Speed Flow, Crazy Fast, and Speed Portal. Not in that order, obviously, but it's just felt, it has those kind of punched out holes like normal, it's it's super thin. I've never had issue with these insoles. If I do have issue with speed boots from Adidas, it's usually just the width or the plasticky upper. It's never been, I don't wanna say completely about the comfort, but sometimes it is, but not from anything the insole's done. So they're keeping it, if it works, it works. And I'm not complaining that they've done nothing to it because you don't really need to. And finally, the sole plate, which is kind of a Frankenstein of two previous sole plates mashed together and then almost like they added some tiempo like conical studs. The sole plate itself is called the Sprint Frame 360 and it has those elements of the Sprint Frame 1 sole plate, which is what I'm gonna call it, that was on the Ghosted and the Speedflow, and then the Sprint Frame 2.0 or Aero Plate, whatever you prefer on the Crazy Fast and Speed Portal. So the studs that are similar, and you'll get a better view than just looking from a distance at the camera, you have the two middle studs, or we'll call them midfoot studs or forefoot studs from the Crazy Fast and Speed Portal sole plate, where they're just kind of triangular arrow shaped, and I've seen some people just shave them off altogether. I never did, but they're also actually on the Speedflow and Ghosted sole plate as well. So they kept those and the same similar. Then they have the back studs of the Ghosted and Speedflow. Sorry if I'm going slow here. It is very hard for me to keep track of these names and boots. And then they also added them in the front here. They've also added two really tiny toe pick studs up at the top. And then like I said, here in the outsides of the boot, or I guess this would actually be the midfoot and forefoot studs, they're more rounded and conical. So I don't know if this sole plate's gonna do well on turf, 
They look a little bit longer, but I wore my X Ghosteds for a while on turf, and I don't know if I ever wore my, the one time I wore speed flows, I don't know if they were on turf or not, but I'm gonna test them out either way to let you guys know in the next video, but I think this will be an okay sole plate for turf because honestly, the last two AG sole plates for, well, I guess the one for the Crazy Fast and the Speed Portal, just added a few extra studs and I honestly don't think they were that much shorter than the actual FG plate was. So I'm curious to see what the AG is gonna look like for this model. I know the HG, which is also good for turf, is probably gonna look exactly the same as it has for the last, I don't know, seven, eight years, which is basically just the X16 and 17.1 sole plate. Also a detail I forgot to mention is it has this kind of middle rib support beam here. There's some gold accents, which is cool. The F50 logo, which is sick. And then a ton of these tiny little arrows going all over the place and kind of three arrows on either side stacked towards this toe pick area. So I'm assuming that's just supposed to highlight, hey, we're saying this is a 360 sole plate, which from my understanding, and they have the 360, whatever it's called on the, the Phantom Luna, wherever my Phantom Luna is down here, 360, whatever. And maybe they're trying to copy that and compete with it, or maybe they're just saying, hey, you can push off in any direction you want. I don't know, I don't work at Adidas. So again, we'll have to wait and see what the actual kind of breakdown is. And I don't think they'll be released by next week. So I'll probably do another video in two months or one month or whenever they actually release this boot and kind of break everything down actually for you guys. I know I probably talked fast, probably put a lot of information out there, a lot of unanswered questions you may have. Um, sorry, I'm just excited. I wanna get these worn. I'm gonna wear them tonight, if, like two hours after I'm done filming this. So I'm excited about that. As far as I know, this is a legitimate colorway. It is a sample pair, but that doesn't mean that it's not an actual colorway because a lot of the sample pairs I've had before they released have been actual colorways. So I'm assuming that is, you know, how this is gonna perform, I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I don't really like that whole tongue setup and the compression fit sleeve tongue, whatever we're, we're gonna go with, um, but I haven't actually worn it yet. So who knows how it's gonna feel. This sole plate I'm excited to wear. I don't know how this upper is gonna feel. It's a bit more plasticky than I liked, a bit more ribbed, but hey, that 50's back. At the end of the day, the last three years, I've, especially the last three years I've been in the boot game and the last year I've been reviewing, the kind of general consensus is everybody wants the F50s back. And I don't think this is gonna be like an original F50. I'll probably do a comparison video with some other F50s and see how they stack up. But for now, this has just been an overall unboxing without a box here are the tech specs that are listed on the boot and here are some details that i've seen while they've been in hand so hopefully you guys like this video i hope you're excited as i am because i'm freaking pumped to wear these and that adidas is kind of listening to their consumers a little bit they bought the they brought the tongue back with the preds they're getting the f50s at least name back and yeah so we'll see what else they do and I'm glad you guys watched this review. Thank you for watching. If you like reviews like this, if you like new releases, sneak peeks, boot facts, whatever, check out the rest of the channel, drop a subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next week when I actually wear these.